Hello, everybody. You can probably tell I've been outside most of the day today, so I apologize for the windblown hair. But I just wanted to give a little bit of an update, actually. Hold on one second. Let me pull up the screen here because I've had a couple of people ask me um, where the community tab is, which is totally fine. Hold they on. say that they're and I just wanted to show you guys because if you are doing the 30 day shadow work challenge, I mean, I'm still getting emails. I'm so happy you guys are doing it. I am also going to be posting, even though I'm sending you the template for the all the 30 days to your email, I will also be posting it on the community tab to each day, day by day. So what do I mean by community tab? This is my channel page. As you guys see, I am very shadow banned at the moment. As you guys can tell, I'm very, very shadow banned. So I appreciate you guys when you share my videos. Um, you're going to see this tab up here, home video playlist community. This is the community tab. All right. And so every evening before the next day, I will share the next day's challenge on the community tab. So on October 31st, so Monday, October 31st, Halloween day, that evening, I will go ahead and place the first day of the challenge on my community tab. So you also have it here as well. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And as I've said, everybody who emails me at shadowworkchallenge at gmail.com will get the full template for the full 30 days. And your name will be entered into a raffle for the prizes at the end of the month for like four or five people. I do know, however, that a lot, there are a lot of people who are private who don't want to be entered into a raffle. And so for those people, that's another reason why I'm posting them each day up on the community tab so they can continue to do their work in private without being put into the raffle. With that being said, everybody's work is going to be in private. Like no one's going to be reading your journal. You can only only share what you want to share with the world. If you don't want to share anything with the world, then that's totally fine too. Um, another thing, I've gotten some people emailing me about the exercise portion due to like, you know, limitations they're working with. And that's totally, totally fine. Most days you will have options. So most days you'll have a slower like bar or a kickboxing. And so if the kickboxing is not something that you can physically do right now at this here now moment, then you do the slower exercise. Or if there is something you need to replace it with, then that's totally fine. Take modifications where you need to take modifications. Again, the exercise portion of this challenge is not about you being a performer. It's about you learning how to use your body to gather information or to see what your body is trying to tell you by intentionally placing your body in a place of discomfort, which I'm going to tell you again, just like Emmy and I spoke about yesterday, which I'll link that down below in the description box. If you missed that, everyone is uncomfortable. So you got to get rid of that myth right away. When you see really fit people out there and you think, oh, they must love exercise. No, they don't. I'm one of them. No, they don't. I exercise six days a week. Five of those days, I'm dreading it. Five of those days, I'm putting it off till the very last minute, okay? So it's it becomes a discipline at that point. You just do it because you know it's good for you and you understand that the burning of the muscles, the, the raising of the heart rate, the sweat is offering you an experience and an opportunity to understand yourself better. The The ego is, a, is fickle, right? The ego is not something that is here really... I would say for your highest good, it is, there is a purpose for the ego. The ego is what saves us from fires and bad stuff. But um, it also gives us kind of a delusional uh, perception of ourselves sometimes. And so when the ego is left unchallenged, when it gets to boss you around and do what it wants to do, sometimes the, we, that places us into a position of not being honest with ourselves. And it's a slippery slope because we don't know we're not being honest with ourselves. But when we've come to a place of vulnerability through exercise, through any type of situation that's going to uh, uh, force you to focus, then you become honest. Then the ego can't lie to you. Right. So many people, oh, I'm, I'm good at this or I'm good at that. But then they go into do it and maybe that's not the, the case. Right. And so that's what the ego is there for. How many people avoid exercise because of their ego? 
because they think they're going to be judged or because they don't think they're athletic or because they think that only like egotistical people do exercise. I've heard that before where people, oh, you know, the athletes in high school made fun of me. So therefore I'm not doing any exercise whatsoever. Well, if that's the case, then you're allowing your ego to actually win at that point, And you're not learning from the experience. I hope that makes sense. And so with the exercise portion, with that being said, from the emails that I've received, the whole point of the exercise portion of this challenge is for you to understand what your body is trying to tell you, for you to be able to flush your body. I used the example yesterday with Emmy, a rolling stone gathers no moss. So when we're sedentary within our body, energetically sedentary, not only do we see the expression of that with weight gain, that's your body showing you, if you've gained weight, that's your body showing you that there's trapped emotion, but then the motion builds on itself. But if we're flushing and moving and moving the joints, then we're constantly spring cleaning out all of these held emotions. Now, I'm not saying that there's ever going to come a point where you don't have any of these traumas. We're always going to be working through them, but your body's going to be able to present them to you in a healthier way, if that makes sense. I know for us, <coughs> excuse me, they got a little sand in my throat. I know, <coughs> I know for us in the Western world, especially, we see physically fit people as being in a different category. And we see exercise as something, again, that's meant to punish us. That's meant to burn calories. I don't even want you to think about burning calories. Instead, when you are sweating and your heart rate is up and your muscles are burning, I want you to bring your awareness into your body and think about all the energy, the held energy that you now have the opportunity to flush. I want you to think about how much better your joints are going to feel when that stuck energy starts to become unstuck, because that's really the point of exercise to take stuck energy and make it unstuck. Yeah. It's like when Shanti talks about knots in the hair, like here in America, we call it a rat's nest. Like when a kid gets like knots in their hair and then gets brushed through it, that knot kind of hurts to like take the brush and like brush through that knot, right? But once you can brush through the hair, it runs smoothly, okay? So that exercise is giving an opportunity to uh, uh, break through that knot so energy can run smoothly, okay? We're not, I'll tell you guys a funny story. My teacher was in Miami back in 2016. And at that conference, he was making fun of us for putting like all of our handstand pictures on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. And he made fun of us. He was like, have you seen Cirque du Soleil? I've seen eight times. They do it better. You are a yoga student. They do it better. And he's right. Those Cirque du Soleil performance, those professional gymnasts, they do it better because that's their job. They're performers, right? You're a student. You're a student of yourself. So I'm not looking. I, I don't care if you become like a fit model after this or that's not the point you know you're going to feel better when your body is 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 toned and stronger but it's not the point the point is that you're using your body in the way that your body is intended to be used your dna holds information okay i'm sorry guys my light's kind of falling i'm on the bed again this is a very impromptu video and in order for us to find that information we have to activate it and we've talked a lot about the med beds. We know they're coming, but the med beds are not going to do anything for you if you haven't done anything for yourself, right? It's not like a tanning bed where you pop in and all of a sudden you come out tan. No, it's not going to do anything for you. If you haven't done anything for yourself, you have to meet it halfway. You have to start to figure out your own activation before you can even go to a med bed and get activated, right? That's not the point of being human. The point of being human wasn't that you were just going to come here, sit, sit on your ass, eat popcorn and wait for someone to bring you a magic pill. You know, if, if I, if I knew how to create a magic pill, I would be a billionaire by now, but there is no magic pill. You are the magic pill. I talk a lot about the match, lighting a match. That match already has everything it needs on it to create light, but by itself, stagnant, not moving. It can't create the light. What does it need? To create the light, it needs the friction of the matchbook. It needs to take itself and strike it against the matchbook. You are that match. The exercise is the matchbook. You have everything you need inside of you. You just have to activate it by creating the friction, 
the friction of friction, right? Um, Cliff High has been speaking about this. We use different language, Cliff High and I, because we come to, to, from two different lineages, but he's basically saying the same thing. I think he, call, he calls it grappling. I think, I'm sorry if I got that wrong. I use friction, same thing. It's the same thing. There has to be something that's going to force a change. Yeah? Okay. going to hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, I'm really, really excited, though. I've gotten, you guys, so many people are doing this challenge, and I'm psyched. We probably will create, like, a Telegram channel for you guys to have a support group. I'm going to kind of look at that this week. It might be a little bit a couple days into the challenge, depending on my schedule. My schedule's crazy right now. I don't really know. Um I'm kind of at the mercy of the powers that be right now as to where I go and what I do. And when I say that, I mean the good powers that be. Um, I've been working a lot. I've, I've been kind of given some assignments now. So um, so just be patient with me. Um, and thank you guys for being patient with me. But I've gotten so many people emailing me. I'm so excited. We hopefully will get that support group up soon so you guys can communicate with, ju- with each other through this process. And I've got a lot of you guys, and I really appreciate it. You guys, a lot of you guys have read through the challenge and have noted how much work I put into it. And first of all, I want to let you guys know that when I was creating this challenge, sitting down and typing it out, I think I was channeling because it was just coming out of me. Now, with that being said, I, I have had a lot of blessing and privileges in my life. And I've had the opportunity to really study this for the past 16 years and use myself as my own experience. And because of that education over in India, I'm able to take modern exercises like bar and dance and incorporate it into the same modality. So that is true. But I also feel like most of what I wrote down and the way I system in which I wrote it was coming from God. You know, because this is, we are the storm. You are lightning in a bottle, right? But I also want you guys to know too, besides, I'm I'm in the type, I really want to practice what I preach. And that's how I gauge my teachers. That's how I gauge people in my life. I don't care what you say. I care what you do because talk is cheap. And when I tell you guys, we're all just walking each other home, I mean it. I mean it. We're all just walking each other home. And so I feel like since God gave me the opportunity to go to India and study with some of the best teachers in the world, to whom much is given, much is expected. And so I feel like I'm being used as a vessel to create that for you guys, because we're all doing this together. We're all doing this together. I want you guys to know that during this challenge, you're the superstar. You are the superstar. I'm just the backup dancer. I'm just the tech support. This is about you. Yeah. Yeah. And you're, you're free to share whatever you want to share about your experiences, or you don't have to share anything about your experiences. It is all about you and you learning yourself. You want to save the world? You got to save yourself first, right? It's like the oxygen mask. It's got to fall down. You got to put it on you first before you can put it on the person beside you. Yeah. And, and my, what I've learned, there's a lot that I have learned that I cannot share right now, but what I have learned is that you guys are so much more powerful than you think you are. There's a reason why the controllers are afraid of you. You got this. You got this. Yes, more smear campaigns against me will come. That's okay. Because we're doing something right. We're doing something right. We are the storm. And you guys are taking your power back. And that's what's so exciting. And once again, in saying that, if you start the challenge and you mess up one day, who cares? Just start again the next day. I guarantee you there's not one person that's going to do this challenge that's going to hit everything exactly right every single day because you are human. And as Mornay says, you are perfectly imperfect. As I said with um, Emmy yesterday, and I totally believe this, the more your heart breaks, the more the light can come through. So the more we mess up in life, the more we course correct, the more that light can come through. We don't learn from the things we do well. We learn from the things we do wrong. And so with that being said, I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so proud of you guys. And I'm so excited to see what we can do together. You got this. You're the rock star. You're the superstar. We're all in this together. We're all on the same team. All right. I love you guys. 
Thank you. Keep sharing this with your friends and family. I, I have people like siblings are doing this together. Husband and wives are doing this together. I am so excited. I cannot wait to see what y'all's experiences are like and what you learned about yourself, all that kind of stuff. And I really can't wait for you to figure out just how badass you really are. I mean, you're a fractal of God. You're a fractal of God. Of course, you got this. You got this. This is going to be a no brainer for you. All right, guys. Love you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.